or hit it and get it. Wait a minute, where am I? Oh, that's better. Today is another Greenlight unboxing video. Yay! I've got a fresh, randomly chosen inner box of Dually Drivers Series 7 to open and show off. Maybe we will get a green machine. What do you think? Green machines are supposed to be limited to a very small percentage of the overall production. But it seems that sometimes they are much easier to find. This limited production makes them far more collectible than the regular version, simply due to there being less of them made. <laughs> makes sense, right? Anyway, without further ado, let's head on over and unbox some green light. And this is a sealed inner pack of Green Lights Dually Drivers Series 7. Let's go on and open it up and see if we got a green machine and see what all else is in the set. Tissue paper. And of course, they put them in in a great way. One, two, three, more tissue paper. The tissue paper is there to go on and kind of support protect the plastic in shipment. Of course, it doesn't always get put in quite right. <laughs> and there is the full set out of the box. And it doesn't look like I got a green machine in this set. So let's go on and talk about each piece. Now, I don't actually take them out of the package because it's impossible to put them back in and do anything with them. So, I'm here. I resell these. I don't really collect much in this line. So, I'm not going to cut open the packages. And here we go. This here is the A version, which is a new 1968 Chevrolet C30 Dually Wrecker. It is new to have a dually on the C30 as a wrecker bed. They didn't ever have the wrecker before for this truck. The only th other C30s they've done have been the ramp bed versions. They also added a really nice uh, brush guard on the front of this truck. You don't see that too often, but push bumper brush guards were really common on tow trucks because they did a lot of actually pushing as well as just plain towing. It is a vintage. It looks like it's a copy of an old Holmes record bed, which were pretty much the standard for tow trucks way back. Heck, they kind of still are. They started the whole tow truck revolution here. They got some nice tampos on the back for brake lights, and the boom is there. It has what looks like cables, but they're really just plastic pieces. They're not cables, so it is a non-functional record bed, but there it is. And it's an all white, so you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. There's also the two rubber straps, which help protect the front of the car. Pretty nice to start off with, with a brand new uh, tooling parts for a truck. Now, let's look at the B version. It is a 1970 Chevrolet C30 Dually Wrecker. With the, and this time, instead of being just plain white, it is black with a white roof on the cab and red trim, a red boom on the bed, red wheels, red and black on the push bumper, really sharp, and it is for Texaco. And that is a late 60s to early 70s Texaco logo right there on the side. 
another really nice piece that would fit real well in your collection. It would go great with the Texaco gas station that they have made. Or it would just be a great piece going out to um, service a vehicle on the side of the road. Really, really sharp. Really, the only difference between the 70 and the 68 Chevys is the grill. But that's okay. It still looks really good. Now we have the C version. It's a 2015 Ram 3500 Dually with a service bed and it's got the crane on it. That is a really nice addition is put a crane for service out on the highway. They painted this one up for the Miami Tunnel. Well, it's the port of Miami Tunnel. So I guess they go out and service things that are in the tunnel and take care of the tunnel. Really nice Ram front end on it. Chrome, all the working parts, tinted windows, beautiful, beautiful paint job, and then the service bed. And on the back of the service bed, it does have the little ball hitch and lots of tampos for brake lights, marker lights, and all the works. Plus, there's actually a little tampo right there on the crane. Really, really cool. Another great addition to the set. Up next, this here is the D version in the set. All these sets have A through F because there's six pieces and each piece in the set actually has its own individual item number because of it. That way they can keep track and you can keep track in your layout. Now, this one being the D version, it's a 2018 Chevy Silverado 3500 Dually with the service bed. Now this service bed does not have the crane. See, there isn't a crane. And it's painted up for the Illinois Tollway, the help vehicle that goes out there and helps stranded or broke down motorists on the tollway. Really nice. Graphics on the back, Chevron pattern, tampos for brakes, and other lights. There is a little ball hitch on the back. Nice tinted windows on the cab. Really nice Chevy front end right there. It's not the really fancy high country, but it is a really nice looking truck and individual jewel style headlights. Did a great job on this one. Next up, we have the E version, which is another waste management. Once they got that license, they're not wasting time cranking out waste management vehicles. It's a 2018 Ram 3500 Dually stake bed. The cab is white with the waste management logo. The bed is black. And the stakes are waste management green. Really, really nice. This would be awesome if they had made us some of the little Herbie Kirby's to put in the back, you know, send out on the layout delivering waste management uh, curbside dumpsters for the um, customers. That would have been really cool. And maybe somebody's 3D printing them. I bet you can find them on Shapeways. Be easy, just get them painted waste management green and throw them in the back of this truck. Really awesome. Another really cool note, it has the waste management logo on the mud flaps. Pretty nice. Really a great piece. Really nice added into the collection for your waste management or your dually trucks. And last but not least is the only Ford in the series. It's a 2019 Ford F-350 Dually in ruby red with stone gray two-tone. Really, really good colors. That ruby red is a really, really nice dark red, and then adding that stone gray along the bottom just sets the truck off. Has white letter tires, standard Dually bed because of the way this one's made, you can't get anything else on it. But it does have the ball hitch on the back and no bed cover. No tinted windows on it. Nice chrome front end. A great way to finish off the set with a standard, plain, old-fashioned dually pickup. Really cool. And that is Greenlight's Dually Drivers Series 7. A great set of six dually pickups with some new tooling parts. Really, really great. And another waste management vehicle for your collection. How many of you are going to add this set to your collection? Let me know in the comments and buy it over on my website, gltrucks.com. A purchase there will really help keep this channel going as it is a full-time job 
to make these videos just for you. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more great unboxing of diecast videos. This is Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.